Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install and download the Opera web browser onto your Windows computer. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and all we have to do in order to get to Opera's web page and download it is actually just get on any web browser. So I'm going to start this tutorial by opening up Google Chrome. If you would rather use Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer, you're more than welcome to. So all you have to do is just open up a web browser here. And now I'm going to go off of a Google search. Doesn't really matter what you go off of, but I'm going to go up to the URL bar, type in google.com. And then I'm going to hit enter. And now once we're on Google, you want to type in Opera Web Browser. And then you want to hit enter. Best Magic comes up, or one of the best matches should say Opera Browser, download free at least at the time of this recording. The domain should have opera.com in it. You want to make sure it's spelled correctly. You don't want to download it from some malicious third-party website. So I'm going to select the opera.com download. Very easy to navigate to and again I recommend using Google to get to that. And you can see it's this fast, secure, easy to use browser. You want to click on this download now button right here. It should be green and it should take a second and depending on what browser you're using to download this file it might look a little bit differently in the download manager but we can see in Google Chrome it appears in the bottom left and I'm just going to left click on it once to open it up and I'm going to also at the same time close out of my web browser it's no longer necessary so it's going to say Opera do more by clicking accept and install you're agreeing to Opera's terms of service I'm going to actually click on this options bar in the bottom left just so I can get an idea of what is actually being installed first. Make sure the language is correct, who it's being installed for, whether it's being used for all users, just a current user, or perhaps you're just putting it on a USB, and what path you're using to install it at. It's pretty convenient. It's going to say make Opera the default browser, which you can deselect if you chose to do so. You can share usage data to help improve Opera. You can deselect that as well. And as well as import bookmarks and other data from the default browser that's probably already installed on your computer. So at this point, I'm going to left click on accept and install. This will take a moment to run and you probably will have to accept the user account control window. You want to make sure it's a verified publisher, Opera Software AS. And you want to select yes to accept. And there you go, we can see that the Opera web browser has opened up. We can blow it up full screen here. So there you go guys, Opera web browser has been installed on this computer successfully. If I close out of it, you can see we have a taskbar icon down here as well as one on the desktop. Easy access to get into the Opera web browser. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.